Hey, welcome to Pulse, the Cheetah Product Podcast. I'm Nick Einstein, Senior Director of Product Marketing, Cheetah Digital. Joined this week by Skylar Wareham, Senior Director of Product Management, Cheetah Digital. We're here to talk about citizen data scientists, big news. Thanks for joining us this week, Skylar. Hey, thanks very much, Nick. Yeah, really excited to talk about CDS. Skylar, thanks again for joining us this week. Uh, so excited to have you here. Great topic on our agenda today. But before we get to it, uh, you know, Pulse, the Cheetah Product Podcast, we have a music theme running through it. I know you have uh, some music pulsing through your home at the moment. T tell us what's uh, rolling through your speakers. It's funny. I have a three-year-old boy and uh, naturally he's big into superheroes so uh yeah you know everything from the uh, classic batman theme to to the incredibles uh, symphonic uh, score is is running through especially the car rides uh, but also through the nice. sonos and uh, and alexas throughout the house nice love it love it good stuff uh I've, I've done the same myself L let's kick it off just to set the stage here citizen data scientists big new product launch it's been in ga for a little bit for us but we got some news coming out around it this week just to set the stage a little bit gartner uh says a citizen data scientist is a person who creates and generates models that use advanced diagnostic analytics or predictive or prescriptive capabilities but whose primary job function is outside the field of statistics and analytics. I believe what we've created here, what you've created is uh, a product to directly address uh, at these kind of citizen data scientists. Uh, so yeah, we, what we've designed is a, a GUI based workflow. So with mostly pointing and clicking and, and very little typing, certainly no coding, right. uh, giving uh, people really across that citizen spectrum. I mean, there are some people that know a little bit more about ML predictive than others, um, uh, making, uh, making ML accessible to them. And, you know, that obviously doesn't, doesn't require coding in Python, but additionally, you don't have to know, you know, what statistical technique to use uh, against a given problem. Um, so I think we, right. we, we have made efforts to 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 use layman terms so everybody understands uh, you know what it, what inputs are required and decisions need to be made to to address those unique use cases again. Yep, yep. And and uh, we were on the phone the other day with an analyst and, and to really break that in layman's terms, we were talking about liberating the data, just getting the data in the hands of marketers so they can uh, use it, analyze it, and and act on it. Tell us a little bit about kind of what's in the EDP for marketers from, from a machine learning perspective and, and how they can kind of harness that and use it. Yeah, so uh, you know, mentioned the, the seeded models across propensities, clustering, sentiment optimization that can be uh, adapted for uh, in custom ways for marketers and by marketers. You know, in terms of liberating the data, there's really, I always think of there's you know, two primary benefits uh, in terms of the outcomes of machine learning. Um, one is scores or cluster membership assignments. So Nick may have a, you know 70% propensity to unengage and might be in the uh, Whidbey Island Golf Club cluster of the segmentation model. And those scores you know, reside in the customer record. They can be used to create audiences and for, for specific marketing programs or campaigns. Um, but the other primary benefit is, is really on the insight side. So the, the model derives findings that uncover the drivers, the influencers of uh, that prediction or the, the outcome that we're trying to predict. And, and so understanding what those predictive factors are for the marketer is also really important. So you're creating an audience based on, you know, a certain set of scores that you want to target with a re-engagement campaign. But, um, but understanding what influences your likelihood to be unengaged is important for the marketer to know as well so that they know not just that they should target that group, but um, perhaps how better to address uh, them and mitigate that risk. Yeah, no, <clears throat> makes very good sense. Another little piece of research that I was looking at from, from Gartner talked about kind of five myths around citizen data scientists. And they were talking, and I think this came up in our call the other day uh, as well. And one was that, uh, you know, while cit I mean, citizen data scientists is likely not going to, uh, if you already have a team of data scientists, this likely is not going to replace them, right? 
it, it's absolutely absolutely right. not and citizen data scientists are in high demand and short supply um and you know i used to wonder in previous lives or worry in, in previous roles that that uh it would be hard to sell in uh, some of these features in, into certain businesses because of that that defense mechanism that might kick in but people are worried about their job but i really don't see that uh, yeah. uh at all anymore and uh you know i think from a data scientist's perspective, um, these kinds of tools are welcome. They can focus on the bigger, hairier, fully bespoke, uh, you know, models and initiatives, and uh, and uh, and allow marketers to to do more with these kind of more turnkey solutions. Yeah, in, in, indeed, indeed, and actually, Gartner said uh, agrees with that sentiment. There are not enough qualified data scientists to meet the demands of data science and machine learning. Data analytics leaders must empower citizens to scale their efforts or risk failure to secure data science as a core competency. And uh, go on to say that data analytics leaders need to provide an environment that integrates and supports citizen data scientists by leveraging their skills and maximizing their contribution. It sounds like uh, that's exactly what you've done here, Sky. That's that's exactly right. It's um, that's uh, you presented it perfectly. Nice. Love it. Skylar, thanks so much. Where, where should uh, the audience go to kind of learn more about citizen data scientists and, and, and uh, how to get their hands on it? Yeah, so we have a, a, a capabilities guide in the CES Help Center. Uh, you click on the EDP tablet. Underneath there are a few different subcategories, machine learning being one of them. There are two documents in there. One will give you an overview of the, the uh, seeded out of the box models, and then the other will run through uh, citizen data scientists, what it is and how to use it. Love it. Some really great stuff there. Thank you, Skylar, for joining us this week. Thank you for joining us. Uh, look forward to the next pulse and wishing you all the best. Skylar, thanks again. My pleasure. Thank you, Nick.